In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to control the VFD, Variable Frequency Drive, and Spindle from Mach 3 using the Pokies 57 CNC interface. However, this instruction is also applicable to other interfaces as well, as long as there are relays on the interface that can be controlled from Mach 3. Start Mach 3, and in my case, I am enabling the Pokies 57 CNC plugin for Mach 3. Click on Plugin Control. Click on Configure Pokies 57 CNC. And we need to go into the Pokies mapping. Under Pulse Engine, you want to expand the outputs. Here we have the ability to configure the relay number one and relay number two. Relay number one I'm setting as output number one. Click OK to accept these modifications and exit the dialog box. Now we want to make sure that the spindle is enabled for this function. So go into config, ports and pins, and spindle setup. You want to make sure that the disable spindle relays is not checked. If you want to use the second relay, change the output for the counterclockwise to 2. And if you do decide to use the output number two, you want to change the configuration for relay number two to output number two. To test the two relays, click on the MDI, and you'll want to go into the input space to type in G-code. The command to turn the spindle on in clockwise or forward rotation is M3. To turn off clockwise and counterclockwise spindle function, that would be M5. M4 enables counterclockwise rotation. I'll use M5 to cancel the counterclockwise rotation. Outputs number one and two are also set up to not allow counterclockwise and clockwise operation at the same time. When the relay is engaged, you can see relay number one is, is on. Relay number one, the terminals are this one and this one. Relays have two terminals because it doesn't output any current. All it does is it either opens or closes two terminals. When the relay is not engaged, this is open, meaning they're not connected. These two terminals are not connected. When the relay is engaged, it makes these two terminals connected. So it allows current to pass through from one terminal to the other. If there's a wire coming in, coming into this terminal, and then there's a white wire going out this terminal, when the relay is engaged, those two wires are connected. So if there's any current going through this wire, it'll then pass into this wire here, to this terminal. And this is, ter and this is relay number two. I just engaged relay number two, and relay number two's terminals are this one and this one. I'm gonna connect the relay number one to the VFD, the variable frequency drive, to turn the spindle on and off. I typically power off the board when I do any of these changes. Okay, so I have the red and green wires connected to the relay number one. In this case, I'm working with a VFD, the YL620 2.2 kilowatt variable frequency drive. And depending on the VFD that you have, these terminals may be different, the names of the terminals. You'll need to look at your manual to see what differences you may have on your VFD. The two terminals that I'm interested in this connection to turn the spindle on and off is going to be the forward, which is going to be the output number one on Mach 3, and the X ground. This is similar to the DCM or the DC common, digital common connector on other VFDs and the FWD, which is forward, may be spelled as F-O-R. When the VFD is in the proper state, meaning that you're allowing communication between the computer and this particular, the interface and the terminals, the FWD, the forward, when the forward is connected to the ground, when it's pulled low, the spindle will engage or turn on. The VFD will turn the spindle on in the forward direction. It doesn't matter which wire, the red or the green, coming from the relay you hook up because it's just going to be doing a connection between the two. 
Now I'm going to turn on the VFD to program the VFD properly. There's going to be a specific parameter that needs to be changed for communication between the start and stop commands from the control panel or from the terminal. In this particular VFD, it's P00.01. And I'm going to change this to a 1. So what I'm telling it to do is communicate through the terminals rather than from the control panel for start and stop commands. This is not going to change the frequency, the manual fr frequency changing on the control panel. So press set. And I'm going to get out of the programming. And when I move this, you can still see that the, the frequency changes, but my start and stop should not change. Let's see if that's true. So let me put it to about 100. I'm going to press run. Nothing happens. So I've disabled the start and stop function on the control panel and I've changed it to the terminals. So I'm going to keep it at that frequency and I will start the spindle using Mach 3 and the Pokies interface. To put the spindle in counterclockwise rotation, reverse rotation, then you can use these two terminals using relay number two. And that would be output number two as I configured in Mach 3. And the two terminals to put it in, into that mode for counterclockwise or reverse would be the X ground or DCM and reverse. I hope this video helps you understand how to control your spindles on and off function from the Pokies 57 CNC interface and Mach 3. Thank you for watching.